Hey, what's up friends? Welcome to our August 2015 video blog. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, we're here still in New Zealand, rocking phase two mischief of the missional community experience, which means we've been kind of staying in touch with the students, uh, helping them implement some of the things that they've learned on phase one, as well as uh, engaging in a, a variety of other like projects around the city and cool ways that we could bless other people. So we figured we'd share a few of those with you guys. This past month, I've been able to join our friend Zion in doing some music therapy at the local mental health hospital, yeah. which I think we mentioned to you guys last month as a prayer request. Um, and it's been so good, so sweet to be able to just uh, really carry that joy that Jesus brings and just the fact that he's given us voices to sing and mm -hmm. um, yeah, to kind of be creative with these patients who don't otherwise get to have that kind of a joy in their current situation. So. Yeah, that's something the Lord's really been speaking to me about and growing me in and just um, kind of acknowledging where some of the greatest needs are of, of your city and your community and really meeting them and, and feeling challenged just to like love and care for people in those deep needs of your city. So um, yeah, it's been such a joy and definitely something that I look forward to growing in and discovering how I can even implement as I go back home. Yeah. Another one of the, those projects uh, was Deep, uh, which I, I shared on our Facebook page, and uh, I don't know if you guys got to see it, but it was 24 hours of prayer and worship where we collaborated with a number of different worship leaders around the city and uh, had them fill slots where they came in and, and led worship, and uh, we had various different like um, interactive prayer things that they could do around the room, and it was so cool. We just had hundreds of people show up and come and, and engage with us in prayer. And it's just, it's super sweet because, uh, you know, like when you get the body of Christ from all different branches, like this wasn't just one church, this was like a number of different churches together, you end up getting a greater picture of what the bride of Christ actually looks like. And, and you get some cross-pollinization of the beautiful pieces that different denominations kind of bring, whether that be a greater sense of reverence or a greater sense of joy and celebration or whatever, which, which really kind of together is more holistic, I think, of uh, how we're called to come before the Lord. So mm -hmm. super cool to see people in this city desiring to hang out with Jesus um, and excited to see where that continues to go. There's a, there's a team of people that Kate and I have been starting to kind of build up that are passionate about this and want to see this go. Uh, and they even have a dream of potentially someday doing like a prayer room here in the city. And we are all for that. Super excited to see that happen uh, someday. So that was an awesome event. Uh, you can check out the event Facebook page or whatever. Uh, if you go over to my Facebook page and just you'll scroll down, you can see it on my timeline. Um, but yeah, that was that was awesome. Uh, and then the, the last major thing that we've been really working on is the tent makers. Uh, we have just finished uh, some designs. It's a bit late for summer, but whatever. It's still summer over there in the U.S., even though it's winter here and cold. Uh, yeah, uh, we put together a summer collection, uh, including some tank tops and some cool stuff like that that we'll be releasing actually this weekend, August 15th. And um, yeah, we are really excited to see those go out and see how people respond to those. So the simple heart behind this collection is the idea of beauty is everywhere. Um, and we're, we're taking kind of just the, the easier kind of approach of seeing beauty in creation, which is, is pretty easy to see, especially in places like Colorado or New Zealand, where it's just like, it's so gorgeous. But we also want to uh, bring that back to a heart level of encouraging people to see the beauty within other people. Uh, so though we, we talk around beauty is everywhere in the natural sense of everything you see around you, we want to encourage people to begin to identify the beauty that they see within others and even in non-believers and getting to approach people with that kind of love and, and validation um, as being just such an awesome evangelistic tool uh, as well as just genuine uh, and true to what how God sees them. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, we've got a sale going on this uh the like last couple of weeks of August, which you can take advantage of. Uh, that's for subscribers. So if you don't already subscribe to us, all you have to do is go over to the website, shopthetentmakers.com, uh, and jump onto our, our subscribe list, which you you know you can find on the website there. Uh, and then you'll get a little promo code for 20% off, which is super exciting. So that's limited time, August 15th through the 31st. So hopefully you've watched this video blog in that time so that you can take advantage of subscribing and getting that. If not, you can still subscribe and, and we send out uh, deals like that all the time to our subscribers. All of our subscribers already know about that promo code. Um, so 
anyways, we'd love for you guys to take advantage of that if you guys like our shirts and you guys want to buy some. So, yeah. We're literally entering our last month here in New Zealand, which is so crazy to think about. The last six months have been so cool. We've been able to really just make some amazing friendships with some awesome people throughout Christchurch, and we're definitely going to miss uh, so many of the people that we've become friends with. So we invite you to pray for us in that as we say goodbye, and also as we wrap up the MCX, as we're continuing to mentor and kind of steward the relationships with each of the students and just walk with them as they're wrapping up the MCX as we do our book discussions and as we get to meet one-on-one -on -one or chat one-on-one -on -one with them that um, yep. the Lord would just help us in kind of finishing everything up for the MCX. Yeah, uh, another way you can be praying for us also is just regarding the tent makers um, with the new design concept beauty is everywhere we are just desiring more and more of a deeper revelation of what that means and even better like how to articulate that to others and how to help others understand um how that transforms how it, it's really just the basic concept of taking your faith of what we believe that god has done for us and implementing it into giving him honor and glory and recognizing the beauty that's in the world all around us and especially those that are around us. And so we just want to know how to share that. And it's not something that we feel like we have a complete perfect revelation of, but um, just an inkling. And, and so we're seeking the Lord and desiring more of that. And so if you would pray for us that we would uh, continue to have a greater revelation of that, we would greatly appreciate that. So yeah, uh, that's how you can be praying for us. And that's our update for this month. Thanks for watching, and uh, we love you guys. Please drop us comments down in the doobly-doo, uh, and let us know if you uh, need prayer for anything, because yeah. we're super happy to be praying for you guys as well. Totally. Cool. Love you guys. We'll see you guys, like, at home in Colorado in, like, a month, two months, something crazy like that. Ah! Yikes. Loco. Anyways, bye.